Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode whatever it is of Let's Play Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to die. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to lie there. Because there's no way I'm getting past that next guy. You saw him, you saw him. I may as I actually made it back to the door, even. You know, get the door, get the door. Alright, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, first jump in and you're screwed. Well, color me crazy. Alright, but as I can at least show this off now, that if you get a game over there, that you do just go back to the start of the palace. You don't have to worry about that whole big gauntlet of everything. Uh, I'm going to work back to that point, and I will meet you there. Okay, guys, I'm back now. Um, Sorry about that very abrupt cut right at the beginning of the episode, but, you know. Alright, now we can actually hopefully get past this guy. Um... He's not too much of a pain, which he probably will be, in all honesty. But, holy crap, I forgot about that guy. <laughs> He's just right in that little narrow corridor. This guy's really gonna chase you really far, so just keep running. Don't don't bother fighting him. I know I killed that one before, but that was just a whim of the stars that I killed that. I don't even know. And of course, it was all in vain, that epic victory, because I actually died at the end. But, whatever. Man, I'm, I'm getting unlucky with those statues. Normally... All of those are, like, red magic for me. I don't know why they're not this time. Alright, uh, if you head over here, there's actually a fairy down there. And I kind of want it. But... Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry for all that sniff sniffling. God, I'm getting really bad with this. Uh... <laughs> Alright, I'm probably gonna cut, all cut out all of that sniffling and junk. Yeah, I really want that fairy, but... I'm just a little bit scared that I won't be able to get back up, or I'm going to die once I get down there. So i got to be very careful. Alright, I got it. Now you just want to get up here. And do that. Okay. If you hit out the second block here, it can be a little bit more of a pain, but... I made it out, thankfully. Uh, I'm pretty sure... What's over that way? I think there's a 1-up doll over that way if you really want it. I don't think it's quite necessary for me. I'm pretty sure you want to head left here now, if I, right, if I remember right. Of course, what's to say I remember right? I haven't done this palace in like two years, so... Whatever. Crap. At least I don't have to be on edge with these guys now. I can actually take a little bit of damage against them without fear of being all dead and stuff. Of being all dead and stuff, yeah. Because that's really the best way of warding it. Why don't I have level 8 attack yet? I really should. You should have that, like, before you even enter this palace, I think. Alright, this looks familiar. Uh, so if you break... I think it's the fourth and fifth blocks down here, you'll fall into a hole, maybe? Thank you. And that should land you in the area you want to be. Okay, um, over to the right is the boss, actually, or the first of two bosses that you're going to face. How many lives do I have? I have two. And if you head over here, in this block, there's going to be... I thought, well, I thought it was in that block. Might be in, uh, this one? Wait, where am I? What? Dude, there's supposed to be stuff in those blocks. Am I not in the right area? I must be in the wrong area. Am I thinking of something else? Oh, yeah, I am, because there's this uh, this guy here first. That's right. Watch out for his ass when you go across. Okay, it's going to be a little bit treacherous, but just keep your wits about you, and you'll be just fine. Yes, you will. All right, you want to fall in here now. Now I remember, and there's going to be this area, which looks exactly the same, except now there's actually going to be stuff in these. Yeah, see, there's your red magic jar. Uh, sometimes that'll be an enemy. If it is, then just leave the room and come back, and it, and you'll get another chance. It might be a red jar, it might not be. And I'm going to cast a uh, life again, actually. Because if you keep going here, there's actually another one over in uh, this one. Oh, crap. Well, that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? But like I said before, if you just head all the way to the right, there's not going to be another big boss, so don't worry. Just head all the way over here, head back. That's the boss room, by the way, with those three pillars, so... We're right at the end of the game, guys, do you believe it? 1090 experience. I'm not even going to get up to 8,000 by the end of this. Alright, yeah, so that red jar won't be there again if you get it the first time. But if it's an enemy the first time, then it uh, will appear again. Or you'll get another shot at it. It might still be another enemy, like I said before, but... It's worth the risk, so there you go. So once they're all ready, full, stocked up on life and magic... Head on over, and we will face the Thunderbird, which is the first boss. Okay, so this guy, uh, I'm going to cast my buffs first. I'm going to cast Shield, 
jump, and I think reflect. You're also going to want to preset thunder, because you won't be able to do a thing to him until you cast thunder. Alright, so here he is. Welcome to Thunderbird. So cast thunder and it'll turn on bl all blue and stuff. And uh, the reason I cast reflect, you don't normally have to cast reflect. You'll take a lot more damage if you don't, though. So I would recommend it. Because it does block all the projectiles, which will hit you if the, if you if, if you don't have reflect on, like I said. And really, you just kind of want to aim for his face. He has he does him he himself can't actually hit you. I don't think, like with his body, it's just his projectiles that can be a bit of a pain. But if you have reflect, like I said, a, most of them don't seem to hit you. He spells them off like crazy, though. Look at this. I don't know why he doesn't have epic boss music or anything. That would be cool. Alright, and uh, just a few more hits and she, he should be down. Normally he'd go down faster, but I don't have my level 8 attack, surprisingly, so... There you go. Oh, he hit me twice. Oh, he hit me a third time. Crap. I wanted to get out of here without taking that much damage, but... Oh, well. There you go. A thousand experience for that. Yeah, so just hit him in the face and you will be fine. And then beyond here, we are going to have... Me and my sniffly self, we're going to fight the final boss, which is going to be that old dude with the Triforce, the Triforce man, the wise man. No, but he disappears, and in his place is left Shadow Link or Dark Link or whatever it is. Alright, so I am probably going to die here, not going to lie, because this fight is goddamn difficult. Po probably... In fact, undoubtedly, the hardest final boss in any Zelda game. He he basically mirrors you. He blocks all of your attacks, essentially. He's worse than he is in Ocarina of Time by far. And he does a lot of hits on you. Crap, he's going to kill me here. There is a trick to fighting him. Like, you can hit him really cheaply if you do it. Aw, uh, crap. Is he... Yeah. Oh, I thought that was my last hit. Okay. Well, that was my last hit. Yeah, okay, um, I might have to resort to that trick if, if worst comes to worse here. I'm actually going to cast shield here. Believe it or not, the ending cutscene of this game is changed a little bit if you don't cast shield in this battle, but I still do recommend casting shield. I'll tell you what the difference is when we get there. Alright. Basically, if you're fighting in the normal way like this, you really gotta be lucky, basically. Alright, I hit him once. Yeah. Really, the best chance to hit him is when he jumps. But you re never really can tell when he's going to jump. Which is the nasty thing. Crap, I could have hit him there. I'm actually going to run a little bit. Uh, can I get... If you can get on the other side of him... Well, it does, that's not really going to help, actually. Because no matter what, he's going to jump. I can't tell how much health I have because... This stupid purple background. I'm so bad at this. Crap. Man, Cow's crazy did this. I want to be able to do it too, but I, I suck. I've never done it this way before. I might just have to resort to this because this is my last life and I don't want to go through that whole palace again, so. I think I'm just going to show it off the cheap trick. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry to disappoint, but. Alright, uh, maybe. I got, him a, I got him one legitimate hit, so yeah. So here's the cheapness. Stand in this corner and just duck and stab and you will kill him. He's just the one taking massive damage now. And, uh, one last hit, and he's done! <laughs> you know what, I'm proud enough of myself, because I got that first legitimate hit in. So, that's fine by me. Oh, yeah. Look at the little man cheering you on. He's like, you the man, son! <coughs> With his little cane. Or right here, uh, yeah. You can finally awake our sleeping beauty, because we got the Triforce. So happy, the first Zelda... You can see he cast shield right there. That's what I'm talking about. If you don't cast shield in the final battle, he won't cast it there either. You saved Hyrule. And you are a real hero. Daw shucks. <laughs> and of course, the cur as any good game would end, the curtains close. Well, actually, this is one of the only games that ends that way. The end. I love that. That's so cute. It's just trying not to interrupt the intimacy of the scene, so it's all off to the side. The the end message. So that, my friends, is Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link for you. Alright. Oh, and we got pretty much one of the worst credit sequences ever, I'd say. 
but I don't know. Well, not really worse. There's not that actually that many people that worked in this game. Mia Han was the producer. <laughs> How very strange. Yeah, you'll find that a lot of these old games, they actually don't have, like, the hundreds of thousands of names that are on the credits of the modern games. It's really just a few people that worked on them. Ishin. I don't know what's with all these, like, one-word names. Anyways, so, as for my thoughts on this LP, it definitely could have gone by faster. I'm kind of glad it didn't, though. I, like, I got to savor it for a really long time, because I do love this game. Mori Kazu Maru Maru. One of my favorite names ever. Doesn't program have two M's in it? I don't know. Yes, but I love this game. I'm glad I got to share it with you, with you all and show you how royally bad I can be at it, but also how good I can be at it at the same, by the same token. Nakazu. Thanks a million. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Push start to replay. And that's basically your final screen. Well, actually, you can press start and it'll uh, do this. Just take you right back up to the start. And you can actually start a whole new quest with a... Uh, You'll actually have all your levels maxed out, though. And you'll start right at the very beginning, the first palace. Nothing's changed except that you'll have all this experience that you didn't have before and your Triforce. The Triforce is, like, on your little thing there. I died. F I got four game overs. Seriously, how did I manage that? I think I got a few off screen just so I could save at some point or something. God, this is the worst end to an LP ever. I'm just talking about, like, jeez. I should be getting all emotional and stuff, but... Anyways, yeah, I'm glad I got to show this all to you guys. That's another LP in the bank. As for what's coming up next, um, I've still got a few LPs still going on right now. I've got Kirby's Epic Yarn, which will be ending shortly. Wind Waker, which I'll get back to very soon, I promise. And uh, my co-op of Super Mario Galaxy. So we've got all those looked to look forward to. I hope you all enjoyed this LP as much as I did. It's been a real roller coaster ride. We had some laughs, we had some pain, we had some crying. But in the end, we made it. Of course, I still had to be a bitch about that last boss, but... You know, if you can do it, if you can do that without the cheap trick, I really applaud you, I really do. So, if you want to see someone do that that way, go find Cow's Crazy's finale of his LP. Post a video response to yourself doing it if you want to. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so that I don't drag this out longer than it needs to, even though I probably already have... There might be one bonus video, I'm telling you right now, uh, showing off like the experience glitch, whatever you want to call it, if I can get that to work. So, yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. This has been Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. This is Argon Matrix, your humble host, signing out. Thank you, and good night.